Welcome back to Shapers Insider. Now, Dubai World Cup is the most anticipated day on the UAE racing and social calendar. The worlds of sport and fashion collide with equestrians and fashion fillies strutting their stuff on and off the track. Both sides are equally competitive, but we checked out the style stakes. Over 50,000 stylish racegoers paraded the apron views to celebrate 21 years of Dubai World Cup. With $30 million in prize money, it's the richest event on the global horse racing calendar. And for the Fash Pack, it's the most decadent day out. Meet this year's Fashionistas. My name's Anna. I'm currently living in London in the UK. I'm a milliner in the UK, so I have a studio there. And I actually made this hat, which was just in the best top 10 and Latoya's hat here as well. My hat is uh, by Karen Hamilton, millinery. She won best hat last year and she's amazing. I've got so many. People buy shoes, I buy hats. This is Ola, Ola Iwala, Shopalahan. I'm Lahari Jones. Um, and this is Africa inspired from Accra, Ghana. He's from, he lives in Ghana, he's from Nigeria. And I'm from America. My hat is by Jennifer Bell. Uh, I bought it in Bergman. A fabulous centre there for anyone looking at the races. I found the dress um, in the Source, a local shop here, which I love and shopping a lot. And they just got it in and I love the colour and the frills. Yes, hundreds geared up for the Jaguar style stakes to be crowned best dressed lady, gent, most stylish couple, alongside titles for best and most creative hats. With prizes including Jaguar F-Type coupés, hotel getaways and long jeans timepieces, the trendsetters were drawn like moths to a fashion credentials flame. This year's adjudicators included Salman Sotan, fashion designer Alanud Badra, milliner Kim Fletcher and fashion director Kate Hazel. And their judging was based on appropriate attire, originality and flair. We always love to see elegant dressed ladies, uh, something that actually uh, looks like a full package with the hat, something that complements, you know, the accessories, the hat and the bag and the shoes, they actually really add flavor to the whole outfit. So some people forget that and they kind of like concentrate on one thing and not the other. So it's nice to have a complementing full look. What sort of top trends have we seen this year? It's a little bit different from last year. It's a bit different. I've seen a lot of lace, a lot of lace. Which is, uh, which is interesting. It's tricky to play with, but uh, it's really nice. And I love the silhouettes as well. So, yeah. But there are certain rules of elegance, people. Things like, uh, in terms of you have to have your shoulders covered. You also, no bare midriffs. And we need our dresses to come close to the knees. So length is important. Now, the style stakes has become a pretty serious business. However, one area where you can still embrace fantasy and fun is the competition for most creative hats. Now, last year's award-winning designer was Charlotte Tiley. This year, she's back to embrace cultural heritage and a little bit of nature with this peacock-inspired hat and also an Arabian oryx strutting her stuff on the fashion field too. Let's check out this year's lineup. Florals, feathers and flames, and just in case you were wondering, yes, it is possible that you've been framed. So basically this one's inspired by um, the new frame that's being built in Dubai. Um, so it's meant to be a bit of fun so everyone can capture themselves in the frame today at uh, Dubai races. It was a petal power look that won most creative hat, and best hat went to elegant London-based milliner Anna Priblova. So it is vintage inspired but with a bit of a modern twist obviously. Um, metallics were in this season so I wanted to use something that was on trend to make my millinery. It did actually place this millinery at the Melbourne Cup top 10 but I thought I'd make it in ro rose gold because I just loved the piece and I thought it needed another outing and Dubai World Cup was a perfect place. Hats off to the guys for bringing the entertainment. Even Bo Brumel would have been very impressed. There was character, comedy and sorbet suits, but our standout winner was the dandy in dandelion yellow. Lavishly accessorised with a cane, spectacles and even a travel bag. Netta, congratulations, you look absolutely amazing. Take me through your look. There's so many different accessories going on. Right there, thank you very much. Actually, um, I lived in Dubai. Whatever accessory you see right here, I just got it from Dubai. 
I'm kind of like uh, uh, wearing different dress, different color. Um, as you see, I'm wearing yellow because I don't care from color. Most men here, they don't really uh, go for colorful dress. The Best Dressed Couple Award was hotly contested on coordination and complimentary finesse. Who said Matchy Matchy was a fashion faux pas? There were synchronized suits and dresses and color-coordinated cravats. We had Romeo and Juliet in purple versus Barbie and Ken in blue, but it was a yellow and navy duo that casually pipped their peers. Actually, it wasn't planned at all, um, so yeah, we're quite surprised. <laughs> you must have spent some time putting your looks together. Was there any kind of theme, or it's obviously a colour thing? Um, for me, no, I just sent him a picture um, when I decided which hat I was going to wear with which dress. And uh, yeah, he just put yeah. it together. So. We didn't try to match, so it was quite <laughs> random. So yeah, it's cool. In Vogue top trends for the ladies included lace, florals, metallics and prom skirts. The long jeans most elegant lady was poised in Ted Baker and best dress runner-up went to Australian Latoa Asher, who embodied the timeless elegance of My Fair Lady. Well, I love creating things that are from the 40s and the 50s and you know I always try and create something that's classic and feminine and so um, my hat is it's called Audrey um, and my dress is called June which is named after my beautiful nan in the UK so she got to come today and be here so she'll be wrapped uh, but you know it's all about the right shapes and I love you know necklines and the fabrics and lace is so in for us in Australia and so I had to bring that to Dubai and stay true to my per the person I am and, and see how it went so here we are. And finally, the coveted best dressed lady title went to a demure lace look, modelled by the Malaysian designer herself. I'm a designer and this is my creation uh, and I love working with lace and I just thought, you know, this, this style is very this year, like you saw it in the Oscars, you saw it in the Grammy, so I thought I'd create something like this and I like the volume and I want it to be a bit girly for the races. The other thoroughbred winner was, of course, California Chrome, taking a cool $6 million for a perfectly timed run. And pop star Janet Jackson closed the event with her unbreakable tour. Yes, guys, it's all for you, cuz that's the way love goes, and there wasn't a wardrobe malfunction in sight. The biggest event on Dubai's social calendar finally closed with a bang. Janet Jackson and fashionistas on the field to the leading personalities in the UAE. Up next, the Hot 100 is revealed.